Good morning. I'm here with my faithful friend. Some people refer to dogs as a person's best friend. As you can see, old Pixie is pretty energetic this morning. But <laughs> I do love her. You know, when I think about one of the things I love about my dog is that Pixie is always loyal and always faithful. It's one of the marks of a good dog. One of the things that marks a dog and why a dog is often called one of our best friends is because they're always happy to see you. They're always engaged. They're always the same. They always seem to light up, or at least we think they do, when you come into the room. I want to read to you a couple of texts about something about God, a characteristic of God that we don't often think too much about. The first verse comes from Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9. And it reads, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Moses is reminding the people that God is a God who, keep, who has hesed for them, a steadfast love. But here's the word I want you to think about, loyalty, the loyalty of God. In a world where we often feel or can feel betrayed, where we feel like people are fickle, where we feel like circumstances are fickle and things are always changing and tweaking, one of the things we can trust is that God is loyal to us. And Moses was reminding the people of that very thing. In fact, earlier in the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Old Testament, we read in Genesis chapter 24, that one of the things that the servant of Abraham thanked God for after he found Rebekah uh, next to a well is that God was faithful to give his master's son a wife. And as he expresses that thankfulness, one of the things that he celebrates in that is that God had steadfast love he says, Blessed be the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who has not forsaken his steadfast love and his faithfulness toward my master. In Lamentations, we read that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I hope you'll be able today to just be reminded that the steadfast love of the Lord in your life never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. And that while you live in a world that is fickle, while you live in a world of changing times, while you live in a world where you may feel unstable, the steadfast love of the Lord for you never ceases because God never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I hope you have a great day today. May the Lord bless you.